Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rank, and in this video, I have another example from our textbook for you. And with this particular problem that we're going to work with, it's going to be requiring us to take a string of digits, not a number, a string, okay, um, of digits, and then pull each one of those digits out one at a time, and then convert them into integers, and then add them together. Right, so it sounds a lot more complicated than it is, right? But we want to find the sum of digits in a string. Sounds more complicated than it is, but if you take individual pieces of knowledge of, of, from your from your toolbox from Python, then and put them together, then this is actually kind of a simple problem. It, it really is. Okay, you just have to kind of know what you're doing and and, and just think it through, right? So. Let's get started. We're going to follow our process, uh, three-step process. Step one, understand the problem. Step two, plan a solution. Step three, implement that solution. Okay, so let's get started with um, step one. <clears throat> so it's step one. You know, we're going to go ahead and read this problem and make sure that we understand exactly what we're supposed to do here. So it says, uh, this: the, the title of this problem is sum of the digits in a string. And so what it's asking us to do is write a program that asks the user to enter a series of single digit numbers with nothing separating them. The program should display the sum of all the single digit numbers in the string. For example, if the user enters 2514, the program should be displaying 12, right? And why 12? Because that's the sum of 2, 5, 1, and 4. Okay, so we need to read from the user, you know, whatever digits they type, and then we got to add them together and display them, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, let's come up with our plan, okay? Uh, oops, let's come up with our plan. I meant to hit that right there, okay? What's our plan, all right? So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to ask the user, ask the user to enter um, single digit numbers, right? with nothing separating them, with nothing separating, separating them, right? So we got to get that from them. Then what do we have to do, right? Well, what we have to do is, is for each of those digits, right, in the string, we need to do what? Okay, we need to strip off one of the digits, right? And we gotta convert it into a number, right? And then once we've done that, we need to add that to some variable, some accumulator, some, yeah, some variable, right? So, um, to some total, right? We gotta we gotta add that to our total. Add that to our total. Okay. And then once that's finished, we gotta print that total, right? So we're gonna ask for that, and then we're gonna need uh, an accumulator. We're gonna need a variable. Let's create a variable to hold the sum. That total, right? And then for each of those digits in the string, we need to strip off one of the digits. We got to convert it into a number, and then we need to add that to our total variable. Okay. Let's go write and let's go try to implement this plan. Sounds good to me. All right. So here's our plan and comments at the very beginning, and we're just going to go through step by step translating that into Python code. So what was the first thing we had to do in our plan? Ask the user to enter those numbers, right? Uh, to, add, and to enter those numbers with nothing separating them, right? So that's what we'll do. So create a variable. And the key here is that, you know, we are going to need to read in everything that the user types at one time, right? Because remember, it says, ask the user to enter single digit numbers with nothing in between, with nothing in between, right? So that means that they're going to be having to do something like this, six, five, seven, two, three, right? And then hit enter. 
well, what do we have? What kind of tool do we have to be able to read all that in, right? A string of characters when somebody, you know, types in a string of, of characters, whether they're digits or anything else, what do we have to read in input from the keyboard? We got the input function, right? So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the input function. So enter a series of digits, you know, blah, 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 um, with no spaces. Okay, that's what we'll do. And then <clears throat> once they've done that, right, they type what, whatever that might be, that's going to get stored inside the num uh, variable as a string. What they enter is stored in num as a string, right? And so that's kind of what makes this a little on the complicated side, or at least at first glance, right? Now we're going to need to create a variable. That's the next thing in our plan. Right, which will hold that total. Now for each of those digits in the string, what do we have to do? We need to strip off one of those digits. We got to convert it into a number and we need to add that to our total, right? So for each of those digits in the string, okay, well, here's the thing. Strings are sequences, okay? Like lists are sequences, like tuples are sequences. They're sequences, okay? For loops, are built to iterate over sequences. Okay, so if you take that little fact, this becomes really freaking easy, okay? So let's do this. So for um, n in num, right? So what's this gonna do? Well, remember how for loops work. You know, if they were to if they were to type in eight six seven, that string is assigned a num, right? Now this string is a sequence. So for each repetition of the loop, this eight here, the eight will be assigned to n. But remember, it's assigned to n as a string, right? Because this sequence is a sequence of characters, and characters, individual characters themselves, are still strings in Python, right? So. And just so I can you know, show you that, let's go ahead and print out our n. So for each, I'll go ahead and test what we got. Eight, six, seven, right? So you can see it says eight, six, and seven. So we can see that that for loop iterates over um, each piece, right? Now, problem is, like I was saying, they're strings. The eight, that's the, the string eight, the string six, the string seven. Okay, so I can't just do something like this. I can't say, you know, your first inclination might be say, oh, well, let's just add to total n, right? And then once we're done, we got to print that total, okay? And you might say, oh, well, that should work, right? Well, let's, let's see what happens, okay? Blah! Throws up. Why? Right? Because the 8, the 6, and the 7, they're not integers, right? See that Type error there, that exception, unsupported operating types for plus equals, int and stru. Zero is an int, right? But the individual digits that make up that string, eight, six, seven that I typed, those are strings. You can't add integers and strings together. It doesn't work. They're incompatible types. So what are we going to do? Well, that's why we have this step right here. Okay, we're stripping off one of the digits. That's part of the for loop. Now we got to convert it into a number. What are we going to do? Simple int function, right? And then this is going to do the conversion. And then we'll take that and add it to our total, right? So let's try it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type 867 again. And guess what? 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 7 is 21. So see, it's maybe a problem that seemed on its face to be really complicated. How do you, what, what are you talking about? But look at the solution. The solution for that thing is really simple. All I got to need to know to make this work is, you know, what does it mean by asking the user for a bunch of single digit numbers? What does it mean to um, sum those things up? You know, a string, what is a string? It's a sequence. Can we use for loops with sequences? Yeah. What happens if you access one individual um, character in a string? Well, it's a string itself. So how do you convert that string, you know, into a number? Use the int function, right? So that's it. Just little individual pieces.
combine together the individual pieces on them their own really simple but when you combine them together you get something a lot more complex a lot more powerful and as it turns out you don't even need that many lines of code to do it okay so that's going to bring this video to a close if you felt that the video was useful please consider giving the video a thumbs up and if you thought that the video sucked well then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well if you'd like to see more videos if you're interested in more content from the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and as usual if you're a student of mine and you have further questions feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours okay thanks for watching and we'll see you next time